exciting is the opportunity in front of you this weekend in the field? Yeah, it is exciting. Um, another fresh challenge, but it's a challenge I've been waiting for for a wee while now. So, yeah, I can't wait. I played there a bit last week, obviously, and, but for the Canes, do you feel like it's a position you're growing into and, and getting more used to it at this level? I know you played there a lot for, for Canterbury Lincoln, but sort of at this higher level? Yeah, I'm comfortable um, with playing 12, and it just presents another, another challenge at this level. Got a bit of a taste last week. Um, yeah, but it's, a, it's another test, Eden Park against an Aussie side that's hurting, so um, yeah, I'm expecting a bit of traffic. Rico Hazel been gelling between you guys at, at training this week, is it going pretty well? Ian seems to be pretty happy with it in, in Melbourne, but on, on the training paddock this week, how's it, how's it gone with you two? Yeah, no, it's been pretty good, eh? I think uh, two misfits lining up um, in the midfield, so um, yeah, look, as you said, you know, it's been a... Uh, it's been a long time for both of us to sort of um, arrive in this midfield and um, yeah, the training week's gone pretty good. He's a good talker, so it uh, makes my job a whole lot easier. So. What, do you, what do you mean by two misfits? Oh, you know, there's a... Uh, we weren't uh, initially in this team as um, as, as midfield um, cover and um, to be lining up on Saturday, it's going to be awesome. Rico, what are you, you like about... Got, you're not the sort of prototype midfield shape either, is it really? Or are you? You were talking about like five years ago, eh? Yeah, I was talking, yeah, more five years. Yeah, not not so much now, I guess, yeah. And I guess we're probably not the the prototype, but, yeah, who knows? Rico, what do you like about Jordy as a 12? What, what does he bring that's kind of, you know, a bit fresh and different? Yeah, I think he's a, you know, Jordy's a strong carrier, um, you know, and he, he's a, got a good pass-kick pass, pass kick skill set, um, which is good. It provides another, another threat to our... Um, our back line and I think um, just the skills from, from the back, um, you know, coming from fullback, you need that vision. So, um, you know, with, with Deha and Quinn um, gone down, you know, he slots in, in perfectly um, to suit our back line. Where did you play mainly as a kid in school and then um, 20s? Was it midfield? Yeah, I was a 10 until I was 15 years old, then slowly shuffled out to 12. And once I got into that professional level, I was too skinny, so I had to go <laughs> out of the back. But um, yeah, hopefully now that I've got a bit more size on, and yeah, I'm enjoying playing 12 again. Mm. Rico, how long as a, as a kid, oh. starting a test in 10, 11, 12, 14, and 15. Oh, mate. That's not bad, is it? <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. Oh, that's all right. Coach next week. <laughs> 9 and 13 to go. Yeah, I certainly won't be going near those two jerseys. <laughs> Sure. Rico, it's uh, slightly different, obviously, going from the wing to centre, as you have, then to fullback to second five. But mm. when you think about the challenges of moving from the outside backs to the midfield, what have been the biggest ones for you? I think um, probably the the one that um, you know the the challenge I found was was the defence side of things, and it took sort of a couple games to to adjust to, but. Um, other than that, you know, it's um, for 13 coming from the wing, you know, you, I think I've said it before, like you've, as a winger, you know what, what you want from your your, your centre and um, likewise, you know, um, Jordy tells me what he, um, what he needs from me when he's, when he's playing 15, so um, the same goes for him this week and he knows what our outsides want and, you know, with the, with the deadly outside backs that we do have, um, you know, getting them time with the ball is, is crucial for us. Rico, how do you assess Rogers' development? Another chance for him off, off the bench <coughs> this weekend. How have you seen him, I suppose, in and around the group, and how have you seen him grow and um, into his role at this level? Yeah, look, Rogers. Rogers has been awesome. Um, you know, he's um, hasn't played so many games. You know, for the ABs this year, but um, in and around training, you know, he's he's learning as much as he can, and um, he just wants to play and and learn. Um, you know, um, the midfields are. A tricky area, like I just touched on. So him, him getting, um, you know, games in his, under his belt for Auckland and um, learning off um, the twelves we have in here is just only gonna um, accelerate that progression. But um, you know, I'm excited to see him go out there on Saturday, back at the Garden, um, home stadium. So yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Jordan, last week's um, try was it the best moment you know? His best ever. <laughs> Anyone's best moment. Um, like it was certainly up there. Um, you could argue there's another couple of nice moments there, but it was pretty special. 
we've let his low test in Australia that in some ways uh, we won out of nowhere but um, yeah, it was a pretty pretty cool moment for this team and the bled low we cherish and to lock it up for another year was cool. There have been a couple of players say, um, talk about the phys physicality, the physicality the Wallabies bring. When you say that, do you mean that they're just a tough opponent or do you mean that they step pretty close to the line in terms of you know, legality? No, I think generally it's just the tough opponents. We, I think the learnings we got out of the first half last week, um, a lot of our carry height and tackle height was too high against big physical um, athletic pack that they put out there against us. So we had to learn pretty quickly, lower our height and our tackle and ball carry. Otherwise, you know, we'd get beat at that um, up high. So that's one thing we've, yeah, we've been working on this week and um, yeah, we've got to get our height right against a, a tough physical team. Jordy, given, I know like, you know, last week was back-to-back -back wins, but given the nature of it and obviously all the talking points and everything, is consistency the last box this team's still looking to check? Is it, is it a bit of a driving ambition for you guys to kind of, you know, put the good ones together? Yeah, for sure. I, I guess in here, in this All Blacks environment, we chase it every day. And um, to be honest, we haven't been too proud of some of our work in recent times and we want to get better every week. So, like you said, um, winning each week is obviously main purpose, so yeah, another big one's expected this weekend from us. Rico, um, they're obviously going to be pretty motivated given the way that game ended. What kind of edge are you expecting from them and how do you guys prepare for that? Yeah, I think um, obviously they're, they're just going to be a better side than, than they were last week and I think both teams are looking to do that, but like Jordy said, you know, they're, um, the pack they chose last week will um, was pretty, pretty physical um, and you know like you said they're athletes that that can play footy and and want to run and tackle hard so uh, we're expecting more so more of last week but just at a high intensity and I think um, you know being being back at home for us you know we we want to lift and, and play the game that that um, we should have ended on last week. A question for both of you um, Keith Boyle and Steve Beckham on the deck and I've, I've been expecting the All Blacks to make it a proud again um, going to be your last game home. Uh, how do you feel? Do you feel that expectation? How do you feel entering these pressure stages? They, pardon, sorry, they want to playing at home. Oh, in front of our fans. In front of our fans. Perfect. Um, yeah, I think obviously we, um, we as a team hold Eden Park. Um, you know, as, as one of our uh, most special, if not the most special stadium um, to us, and it's a. Uh, um, like like Jordy touched on, you know, it's we haven't been um, too proud of some of our our games that we've put out this year. So, um, putting on, you know, an awesome performance in front of a a home crowd that's um, we're looking forward um, to sold out. Eh? Sold out should should be awesome, and that's something that um, you know if, if we can get that performance that we're after, um, you know, it builds us nicely towards the the back end of the year. What was your line of skill, sailor? Smooth seas never made a skilled sailor. <laughs> Another one for the day? Any more? No, I, I was actually looking at some quotes, but they didn't really uh, fit with what I was going to say today, so no, nah, nothing today, guys.